Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a first review on the new ColourPop palette. This is the, eh, you can kind of see it. Um, this is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It says Yes Please on the back and it says cute as fuck on the front. Well, <laughs> sorry, cute AF. Don't say that word, kids. And it looks like this on the inside. And I have seen some people saying that it looks a lot like this guy. This is the Natasha Denon Denona Sunset Palette. And it looks like this. So I'll hold them right next to each other and they do look really, really similar. ColourPop, Sunset. And I did do um, arm swatches with my finger earlier today, so I'm going to um, insert those clips. And last night I was playing around with both of them. And I did a look with the Sunset Palette on my eyes, so I'm going to, at the end of the video, I'm going to show that picture, and then I'm going to show the finished look that I'm going to do today with the ColourPop Yes Please Palette. And I'm going to try and make them look as similar as possible, because I want to compare them pretty um, equally. So let's just get right into it. So I've already primed my eyes with um, my NARS Soft Creamy Concealer in Honey, and then I set it with my Laura Mercier Setting Powder. So I'm going to go right in with this shade. So this is called Bling. I don't know if they exactly correspond to the spots where they are on the front. But if they do, then it, this one is called Bling. And it is a um, soft, really, really pink, um, really light pink. So I'm going to put that all over my lid with a really big um, fluffy brush just to get a good base down. And now, last night with the Sunset Palette I did um, kind of a gold, orangey red, smoky eye, kind of. Um, so I'm going to be using this color, this one, which one is it? This really pretty orange yellow shimmer and um, a tiny bit of this. And those are um, pretty much the closest that you can get to the Sunset Palette shades too. So we're going to take, I'm going to take a semi-flat fluffy blending brush and we're gonna start out with this peachy color as our transition shade and just blend that into the crease and both of these palettes have um, pretty good pigment in the swatches you can tell um, more difference, but I haven't, um, played with the ColourPop palette on my eyes yet. It just came in yesterday. But just with the finger arm swatches, I noticed that there's more pigment in the Sunset palette. Okay. Okay. So we're done with that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go go in with a MAC 217, which is a little fluffier than the last brush I used. And I'm gonna go in to this orange shade, and that is called Champs, I think. And buff that into the crease. And I'm just going to build it up until I like how it looks. Okay. 
I'm gonna go in with a t <laughs> I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush not in that palette and go into this red shade right here called um, butter cake and just dip my brush in there and go a little bit more controlled in the outer corner and the crease. And then I'm going to go back with my MAC 217 and take a little bit of that peachy transition shade and blend everything out. So that is what it looks like so far. And now I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush. Um, sorry, they're kinda dirty. I forgot to wash them this weekend. But um, I'm gonna go in with this and go in with that really pretty orangey yellow shimmer shade and pack that on my lid. So something I notice with, just as I'm putting this on the eye with the metallics in the ColourPop palette, is that they have a lot more pigment um, with brushes than they do the Natasha Denona palette. Um, when I go in with the Sunset palette with a brush, I get like <laughs> nothing on my brush, which is really disappointing because it's really expensive. Um, but when I go in with a brush in the ColourPop, I get a lot more payoff. I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, with the Sunset palette, it barely shows up on my eyes and I have to use my finger or else you just won't even see the shiny glitter that I'm putting on my eyes, which is really disappointing. So I'm going to put two layers of that just to get a really pretty gold lid. And so far, I'm really liking how they blend. And I do have other ColourPop shadows. And I really like those. So I'm not surprised that I love this as well. All right, now that I have that, I am going to go into a large, fluffy, tapered blending brush and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Louie. It's kind of a burnt red orange and I'm going to blend out the crease. Just to add a little warmth as if we don't have enough because I want to. And then once more, I'm going to go back in with my MAC 217 into the peachy transition shade and just blend one more time, making sure everything is all smoked out and looking pretty. And then I noticed I lost a little gold on this lid, so I'm going to go back in and make sure... Where did my brush go? There it is. Make sure it's all sparkly. That's better. Okay, so the top is done. Now I'm going to go in with a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go first I'm gonna do this shade right here called champs and dip my brush in there and go along the lower lash line so I do notice this has um, quite a lot of fallout which I don't notice with the um, Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona. 
but I'm not expecting I mean the pigment is there and the blendability is there so I'm not expecting it to be perfect um excuse me the Natasha Denona palette is $130 and this one is 16 so from what I'm getting from it it's a pretty darn good quality just like everything else Colourpop makes um so I'm okay with a little bit of fallout all right and right at the edge I am going to take a tiny little precision brush and take the red shade in there and put it on the outer portion of my lower lash line just to match it up. So that is what that looks like. And it is coming out to look pretty similar to um, the Natasha Denona look that I did last night. So I'm definitely not disappointed in the quality of these eyeshadows. And yeah, so I'm going to go put on some mascara and I'm not going to put on any lashes so you guys can see the look of the eyeshadow when I'm all done and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I just um, finished off my look with some of the um, TARDIS lash paint. And the brush looks like this. has a lot of spiky um, bristles and it's plastic. It's one of my favorites. And so my final thoughts on the ColourPop palette. I really, really, really like it and it is really similar to the to the Natasha Denona. I wouldn't say that the quality is um, as up there, but like I said, the price difference is so drastic um, that I think that this would be a really good dupe. Um, but my overall thoughts, um, the pigment is there, the blendability is there. Again, this is what it looks like. And the packaging is super cute. <laughs> cute AF. <laughs> and um, it has a magnetic close, so I think that this would be a really good one to travel with and it does not have a mirror but like I said with the price I really don't mind um so yeah that is what I think and I am going to be putting up a side-by-side -side look of this eyeshadow look and the sunset palette look that I created last night um so yeah that will be going up at the end of this video and I will be doing a review slash first impressions on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I think it just came in the mail so I'm super excited I need to go get it um so that will be going up either tomorrow or Friday I'm not sure which I need to play around with it um because this one is going up a day earlier than I normally do because <laughs> I just wanted to get it out there before being the millionth person that reviewed this palette um so make sure you come back to my channel um, or subscribe to my channel so you get the little notifications and give this video a thumbs up and give me a comment down below of what you think of the look and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!